Taco video. All right, here we are with another video. It's a little bit of a yard sale rant video. Yard sales, yard sales. Woo woo woo. Call your ambulance. You got people getting offended. You got people getting offended at the yard sales. So <laughs> I go to a couple of yard sales. The first yard sale I had was a piece of junk. I managed to get a NASCAR Monopoly that was sealed for three bucks. So I was kind of happy with that. And then she gave me a little lead. She's like, oh, you need to go down to the rich neighborhood. That's down here. You take a left with the light, ba ba ba, go up a hill, da da da, Blueberry Lane. All right, I'll head over there. So I head over there and um, we make our way to a couple yard sales. We go to the yard sales. We try and find the, try and find the knickknacks worth the monies. Try to find all the video games before all the video game guys get there. So I made my way there. I make my way over this one sale, and this guy has all girl stuff. Like, like I, I looked at it, and I'm like, I ain't gonna stop for that. And I'm like, eh, if you never stop, then you never know, right? You never know. So I'm like, all right, I'll stop. And uh, you know, I'm looking at all this, you know, junk. <laughs> Sorry, it's junk. And. Uh, Hey, uh, got any uh, video games? And he's like, Oh yeah, I got a ton of old video games. And I'm like, uh, Old video games, did you say? Okay. He's like, Yeah, come on in the house. I'm like, Oh lordy, here we go. Nintendo mother load. Give me some Turbo, give me some 3D, oh, give me some Nintendo, anything with an O. Oh. Wow. It says old video games, so I go down to the basement. He's got it all hooked up to this big, huge, big screen TV. And, uh, I see, a, a like a stack of Xbox One games. It's like, yeah, you don't really play them anymore, ba ba ba, you know. You know, I'll sell you all these ones. I'm like, oh, well, you got the console too? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll sell you that. He's like, I got a new console and I'm getting another one later. I'm like, how many, con how many times can you upgrade your console? He plays the same games, man. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm upgrading the Xbox. Uh, you know, it must be getting like a Scorpio or something. So I'm like, oh, all right, you know. So I was kind of slightly depressed that it wasn't like, you know, like the good of the goods. And yawn sale, yawn sale. It wasn't the good of the goods. It wasn't old video games. It was all new video games. He says he has old video games. I didn't want you new video games. I want you old video games. So. We agreed on 70 for the whole lot. There was 15 or six, 15 Xbox One games and five or six or seven original Xbox games with a console and a controller. So I was like, all right, that's not too bad, you know? I think I can get 100 out of that back. So profit, something like that. But it was kind of funny because I was like drooling because he had old video games and they were all brand new. <laughs> Some of them are sealed, they're all brand new. I called them old. I thought that was kind of funny. So, then I head to this other yard sale and this, oh, well, the guy says too, oh, my buddy down at the end of the road, he's moving. Should probably go hit up him. I bet you he's having like a liquidation sale over there. Everything's probably cheap. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, I'll head over there. So I head over there. There's this one guy there that um, goes to the flea market. And he has an antique booth and he goes to the flea market and he's not the greatest buyer. He has a good eye, but he's not like, he doesn't pay any, really anything. And he's already got a little pile at this guy's house. So I'm like, eh. I'm like, all right, you already done looking at these tools? He's like, yeah, so I'm looking at the tools really nothing there. I say to the guy, hey, you got any other tools in the basement?
basement? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, well, I go down and you can show me? He's like, yeah, all right. And then this guy did, did the old one, two on how do you do that I normally do and goes, oh, can I come too? And the guy's like, oh yeah, you can go too. So now, and now it's me and this guy going in the basement. Now I have competition all breathing on my neck. And, and the guy ain't gonna share, like, you know, or if I went down with like Steve or Andre or like Rob or somebody, like they'd share a little. This guy, he just wants to like grab everything for himself. And I said to him, hey, I initiated this conversation, just so you know, to get in the house. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I hear a bunch of Rambling out in the out in the hallway. Larry, 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 you gotta come outside. Larry, Larry. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on, honey. So he's like, oh, all right, guys, you gotta go outside. All right. So we go outside, and there's this guy there, and he's got this pressure gauge, and he's like, how much do you want for this pressure gauge? And the guy's like, ten dollars. And he's like, uh, five? And he's like, eight? And he's like, how about six? And we call it a day. And I'm out of here. And the guy's like, uh, all right. You know? Totally didn't want him there. You could totally tell this is guy's like the boom. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hitting it hard. So as I came out of the house, I'm like, really? All that for that? And he comes right up to me and he's like, you got a problem? And I'm like, I don't have a problem. Do you have a problem? And he's like, yeah, I have a problem. What, what, what are you saying about, oh, oh, what, like I have one thing here? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I was in the basement trying to buy the guy's tools and you kind of like distracted us from doing what we had to do so that we could sell you a $6 pressure gauge. Yeah. So he starts talking all this jive, talking, talking, talking. I'm like, you're a drama queen. Go away. <laughs> you freaking drama queen. And he's like, would you just call me? I'm like, I called you a drama queen, all right? So as I turn my back after I say it right to his face, I called you a drama queen. Granted, the guy's 290 pounds and a little taller than me. He freaking nudges me with his pressure gauge. And he says, you want to start something? And he touches me with his pressure gauge. I go, dude, did you just touch me with your pressure gauge? I go, what do you want to have a fight in, in the guy's driveway at a yard sale? Get out of here, you drama queen. Freaking, oh my God. I was losing it. I, I, well, I didn't lose it, but I was pretty close. And the homeowner, the guy having the yard sale, was like, what the hell was that all about? And I'm like, I don't know. You saw the guy nudging me with a pressure gauge, right? And he's like, I did see that. And I'm like, I don't know. I told him to back off, you know? So I go downstairs. I got the vice. Here's the vice. Here's the vice. Craftsman. Nice craftsman. Nice craftsman. And, uh... <laughs> I saw him down the road at the next yard sale. And he's standing out in the road holding his hands up. So I drive by and I'm driving and I roll down, I stop, I roll down the window and I'm like, loser! <laughs> and then he's like holding his hands up like he wants me to like I have a fist fight in the middle of the road. So I parked, I parked the car, threw it in reverse, I backed up, I got the window open, and he's right up at the window. I go, well, you wanna have a fist fight in the, drive, in, in the road now too? He's like, come on out of the truck. You can talk a lot of shit in the truck. And I go, yeah, okay, buddy, have a good day. And you're gonna skunk out all day with that kind of attitude. See you later, buddy. And left. And I'm like, man, I, I'm going to remember this guy. He's definitely going to be at, like, a flea market eventually. So I'll see him at a state sale or something. But, um, 
just because of what he was buying an old old brass pressure gauge only only resellers and antique guys and stuff like that buy that kind of stuff so oh man I was livid so uh, that stuff can happen you know you never know when a fist fight's gonna happen <laughs> I haven't been in a fist fight in like 10 years either would have been pretty interesting because the thing was is he thought that he could kick my ass and I still thought that I could kick his ass so therefore it would have been a really good match and I was just kind of awed that the guy never watched boxing and martial arts or anything where the guy just freaking swift kicks the guy in the head and the guy goes down you know but yeah yard sales yard sales yeah so we got an Xbox One those normally don't happen at least on our end we don't, we don't, we don't find those a lot some other stuff I got a Commodore printer in the box that's kind of cool um, and then some other junk a big pile of junk but yeah I think I spent 160 or something like that all day uh, you should get my money back with the video games and then the rest I'll just grind out so it is what it is it is what it is and sometimes you get kicked in the nuts and you get right back up and you kick them in the nuts back all right so that's it <laughs> have a good day hope you all found something worth something or found something worth going on the shelf all right Peace.